commission this afternoon, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I don't have much to say. I know we, we've been running around this morning. Allow me to rest my case by saying thank you very much, Your Excellency, for accepting to come and commission this very important hospital for the people of Mamwe. I thank you. Uh, that was a remark from our uh, provincial minister. Uh, this time we invite uh, the British High Commissioner, Ben Smith. Your Excellency, uh, Your Royal Highnesses, Honourable Ministers and esteemed guests and hospital staff, uh, on behalf of the British High Commission, thank you so much for inviting us to be part of the opening of this wonderful facility today. I was lucky enough to get a tour of this hospital yesterday and I saw all the wonderful work it does, um, its wonderful maternity ward, the oxygen facility, it really is a great state-of-the-art hospital. The UK government is committed to work in partnership with the government of Zambia, in partnership working on jobs and growth and trade. And it's through this kind of partnership that we have been able to work together to produce this facility. With support from UK um, export funding, UK export funding, and using the British firm NMS, we have worked in partnership with local Zambian firms to create many jobs and then build this facility today, and we're very honoured to be part of that partnership. We also work with the government of Zambia on other health strengthening systems, including working on MPOX preparedness and cholera preparedness, and we will continue to work in partnership. And we have also been standing in solidarity with the people of Zambia through this terrible drought that you are experiencing. Um, we are pleased to work with you on social cash transfers and emergency cash transfers, and we will continue to work with you on those projects. So on behalf of, of the government of the UK, I'd just like to say many congratulations on this great hospital. Um, I hope it serves you well, and especially to all the staff, Musa Ben Zeguino. Thank you very much, High Commissioner. Uh, this time, Allow me to ask the Acting Minister of Health, Honorable Elias Mulanga, to give his remarks. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Kainde Chilema, the Lord Highness. We appreciate your presence here, my fellow cabinet ministers, all invited guests, you're welcome. Mr. President, we are grateful, especially from the Minister of Edu uh, Health, what you are doing to this sector. Uh, it is just a few weeks ago, Mr. President, we are together on the COVID Belt, and you commissioned a facility exactly like this one here. Your support to this uh, sector is highly appreciated, Mr. President. And I want to also turn to our people here, especially the staff working here. This is a brand new you know, facility and built a higher standard. And we want you to keep it very, you know, jealously. Maintenance is a extremely paramount. So those di uh, director and especially Dr. Mutale, who is in charge here, we want to see, you know, this facility uh, maintained. I'm very grateful that the support we've also gotten from our traditional leaders was a stakeholders, this facility. It's also appreciated. So 
has ministered to minister for you know this um, ministry. I'm also extremely happy, Mr. President, for you to come and commission you know this facility. These are few words. I just wanted to appreciate everyone who has come. Uh, may God bless you. Thank you very much. Yes, I think here, you know, it's a very short ceremony here, uh, but I uh, want to say there are just one or two um, issues we need to perform, Mr. President, from here um, after your speech. We will close off uh, the, the ceremony. There is um, just to symbolize, you know, the, our uh, green economy. We want to make sure that we start planting the trees to show. And uh, just uh, within a few, few minutes, and then from there, just to cut the, the ribbon, just to officially commission the hospital. Thank you, Mr. President. It's now my honor to call upon you, Mr. President, to come and just a few words with you people. You may take your seats, please. Thank you very much, Acting Minister of Health. Your fellow cabinet colleagues, our fellow cabinet colleagues that are here, a couple of ministers are here. We've been together for, since this morning. I must also recognize the traditional leaders that are present here uh, for your presence. Very important. We know we have to extract you from the ceremony here. We were together at the ceremony, so we extracted you to come here. We appreciate that uh, your tolerance to accept that disruption. Let me acknowledge Acting British High Commissioner, our partners, uh, for being present. Um, also, our provincial leadership, um, central government, local government, because of time. Uh, all of us that are here, I know there are members of parliament that are here with us today, to, to, to this afternoon, this is, and uh, others. Uh, I must just add on to what has been said already. This is a fantastic facility. This facility, from all angles, doesn't matter where you look at it from, from all angles, this is a fantastic facility. Uh, the construction, the integrity of the asset itself, uh, the design, first the design, the construction, therefore the integrity of the asset. I know I have an architect here, uh, someone who understands this field very well. Um, architect, what's your profession? I'm a land economist. Land economist, close to that. Um, so he would appreciate this, this facility as I, I do, as you do and uh, then go to the setup to say a look at the setup to say walk through here um this is my second time here but also uh, last time i walked through here so you realize that it is orderliness here and as the acting minister of health said let us protect this asset the physicality of it then the people that work here for go to people the equipment the facilities that are in here are first class. When I say that, I mean it. I've been privileged for many years since I was young, from around 18 years, you know, 22 years of travel at the world. This is second to none for its level, for its size, it's second to none. So then you bring in the human factor, the nursing staff there, Dr. Mutali, where is she? Yeah, thank you. Sometimes we should sit these people in front when we have a function like this, because it's, it's rare that we are here in a place like this. I mean, the community can get to cite the people that run this facility. Uh, the total, the totality of the medical staff that are here still smaller in complement in terms of numbers. The numbers have to grow. Uh, we were briefed inside there. But they're already doing an exemplary work here. No death at birth since 
the hospital of the the most fragile time during a lady's pregnancy, normal pregnancy, which we should be talking about, not always be cherishing premature. As someone, you know, cherishes premature, you know that what I'm talking about. I know you have missed the joke there. <laughs> so, <laughs> you didn't hear someone who was promoting any, you know, uh, <laughs> so, during pregnancy, at birth, you heard the president talk about metallic wings from every health facility. This wing is excellent, close to it is the theater, isn't it? Very close to it, serving life. So, we, the community of Mangwe, in totality, this is our asset, the Royal Highness. Chintusha, Charles Switch, even we in and other than us. Hmm? So let's take care of it. Let's support Dr. Mutale here, young doctor. Let's, put, let's support those masses there. Just creating some respect, <laughs> creating an environment of calmness, isn't it? Who no fall as well? But go pull us injection, So let's retain that atmosphere. We, the patients, we, the community, and support our young people here. Some of them have come here from different locations, different parts of town. They need to feel welcome. So I, I don't want to say much, but to simply say, Minister of Health, there are issues of staff compliments, Minister, there are issues of staff compliments. We need to conclude those processes, administrative processes, so that um, we can have the skills that we require for them. For here. For here, since other things are there. So the staff compliments. And your government has been recruiting a lot of medical staff, as we've done for teachers. It's because we value health. Right? Health, education are partners. No respect. As you know, without education, we can't have health staff. But so the story goes. So thank you to our partners, the British. High Commissioner, acting, please pass our appreciation to your office and to London, you know what I mean, and to the next big house. Because when I visited the king, we did talk about this partnership. We touched on it in your short speech. So please pass the reverse message of appreciation that means to be in Bushiti. <laughs> Since you are learning language, <laughs> things are happening. <laughs> She's keen like me to learn languages. So thank you so much. I think because of time, we've all been busy doing lots of things. We enjoyed ourselves at the ceremony, the peaceful atmosphere again. This is what this government brings. This peace, tranquility, we can focus on Chitoko. <laughs> Calmness, orderliness, methodical, intentional partnership with the chiefs, with the religious leaders, with our cooperating partners. They will deliver for the people's hand. Quasida. If you've been on right, come back, come back here. But deliver. This is it. Now the drugs, minister. Drugs must flow. Hmm? Provincial medical. Uh, Professor Chilani, this guy does a lot of work behind the scenes. My health advice, uh, health advice of the president. And I'm pleased to confirm yet again for Mambo here at this hospital of Umuatu. Through our efforts, working with him, I'm harassing him every time, we have now managed to bring the local manufacture of the Corilla vaccine in Zambia. And it will cater for the whole country, it will cater for the region. 
This is the vision of this government. Mm. Hmm? Step by step. Mm. But picture you know, is it's been high. Mm. Yeah. Because of other challenges which we inherited, tackling issues in an organized way, item by item, couple of items, mix, combination, we shall get there. Mm. Thank you very much.